hello guys welcome back to my channel i just want to take a sip of water real quick because i have a lot to talk about but first and foremost i want to thank each and every new subscriber that has joined the ride or die community snap cup honestly you guys are the MVPs right now because y'all made the right decision and I encourage you guys to encourage everybody else to make the right decision and like and subscribe. So I went on a walk today, guys. Throughout this whole journey, throughout this whole process, the only thing that I feel like that has been keeping me sane, that has really, really helped me with my depression and just how to cope with all of this, I have been going on walks specifically walks like in some sort of park some sort of nature and on my walk today i literally was just tree gazing i love trees i was just tree gazing and i literally saw this leaf all the way up from a tree that i was looking up i was literally looking up at the tree and i saw this leaf literally fall and it was like twirling like this and it literally fell and it fell perfectly like this like this and then fell and I literally witnessed that and I was so amazed it was almost like mother nature was putting on a show for me I know that it sounds crazy but hear me out it was in that moment of silencing my mind of you know we all have just a million things that are going through our heads but if we just take one second to stop thinking and just stop and look you'll be amazed and in that moment of just clarity i was eight it was like nothing it was like my mind finally shut off and nothing else was going through it except for me just m like marveling in the fact that i've witnessing this leaf falling down and it was almost like hear me out it was almost like mother nature was like here girl here's a gift for you and i'm gonna press this in my journal and I'm going to write about just how beautiful. I, I've never experienced such a moment of like mental clarity. You know, when we all have things going on in our lives that just press on our brains and it's like we can't shake it. And it's like all we think about is just that one problem, that one problem or whatever is going on. Sometimes we just want it to all just shut off, right? All just shut off and we want it to go away. I kid you not, this was the first moment in my life where my brain has completely shut off and I was, I was encapsulated in the moment. And it was such a beautiful, beautiful thing. Like, honestly, guys, it was such a beautiful thing. So I just wanna be aware and present for myself today. And I want to just highlight that moment and share that experience with you guys before I start talking about my camper and how I feel. So now that the cat is out of the bag and you guys know that I have bought this camper, I have enlisted the help of two beautiful souls. They have a YouTube channel as well. They're a small channel that's trying to build up and they do a lot of DIYs and they also do snack crate subscriptions um i'm gonna ask if it's okay if i share their information because i don't know you know also like branding i don't know if they want their community to intersect i don't know but i also want to be respectful to everybody so i'm gonna ask before i link their channel down below but i don't think it should be a problem honestly so i've i've sort of did what i possibly could do i i casted out my net of manifestation and i said hey, I need help fixing this camper. Let me think of innovative ways to get this fixed, but that's beneficial to both parties. We both need content for our channel. Why not tag team and it's a mutual thing. This is content for your channel. You've been looking for a project and I am embarking on a journey that is life and I'm enjoying every single minute of it. So why not have this be a collaborative situation ship that is going to be beneficial for the both of them. And look, I'm using the skills that my mother gave me. I know how to cook. I am a, I am a, um, a Latin Caribbean woman. So Caribeña, I guess, what you would say. And 
not to toot my own horn, but I slay in the kitchen. So I'm like, hey, cook y'all a couple of meals. We both get content for our channel. You know, you guys hook me up to electricity while I'm in the camper, you know, and everything will be copacetic and I'm um, cleaning up. I'm just basically doing what I can to be helpful so that it's a mutual situation. And I am grateful, 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 grateful that I was able to um, come in contact, you know, and connect with these people. And I already knew them, you know, I worked with um, one of the brothers in the nursing home. So um, it just seemed like a perfect fit and it seemed like great. So I'm supporting them. They're supporting me. And it's nothing but love and prosperity here, guys. And that's a topic that I want to talk about love, love and how that equals prosperity. Yes, you heard me. Love equals prosperity. I <clears throat> am about to embark on this journey, going into this camper, going off into the world, sort of say on my own, finally. And I am so grateful for this experience. And I'm taking it so seriously because I feel like sometimes when life keeps putting you in a situation is because you haven't learned that lesson yet and i literally had to i left new york when i was 23 from a shelter and i literally through state by state been kicked out of so many homes from each state as i've gone and had to wind up back all the way in new york and then now that I have my camper, I'm all the way back in South Carolina, the place that I ran from because I felt like I lost my voice because I was experiencing such hate due to me being trans and all of that. I literally had to go back where I all started this journey for me to learn the lesson that I needed to learn so that I can now finally move forward in a positive, healthy note. Are you guys ready to hear the lesson that I've learned? I've already told you guys. I have been nothing but completely transparent on my channel. I have shared the good, the bad, the ugly, the hard times. And there's a lot of things that I haven't told you guys because, you know, the soul can only take so much when you have so much going on. And um, these past couple of months have been hard and they have really really put me through the ringer i mean each home that i sort of left and sort of whatever experience that led to me having to leave that home were not easy experiences to go through and they challenged me but it's it taught me something it taught me how much my freedom how much what i wanted out of life meant to me and you want to know a secret? That's a lesson that I already knew. But I allowed other people's perception of how I was and my existence shape how I felt about myself. Let me break that down to you guys a little further. I always knew that I was a girl. I always knew that I was a woman. I always, always knew. So much so that at the age of 13, I knew once I told my mom that I was going to live my truth and I was not going to remove my breast, that I knew she was going to kick me out. I knew that with 100% certainty, right? But you know what's one thing I knew more than that? I knew who I was. And I wasn't going to allow anything to change that, even at that age. And I was brave enough to stand up for myself, to show up for myself. Sorry, guys. To show up for myself and, and, and say, hey, no, this is who I am. And I'm not going to change. But then some way along the journey, you know, because of my family not being accepting and the world not being so kind. I mean, I grew up in Brownsville, Brooklyn. I grew up in the hood. There was no such thing as transgendered. You know, that language is now coming into turn because there's more education. There's the Laverne Cox and the um, 
what's her name all the girls from pose you know i don't want to go down all the list but all the girls from pose there's more awareness but when i was growing up there was no awareness of that so i was sort of the pioneer and nobody understood nobody nobody could wrap their heads around this but it didn't matter i knew what i was and i continued to go on and i continued to develop who I am and, and, and the woman that stands before you right now that's able to put out this video. Um, I didn't allow anybody to change how I saw myself, but I did allow their opinion about how I was living my life to shape how I felt about myself and how I felt about me standing up for my truth. I allowed people not accepting who i am to make me feel bad about myself almost as if what if my mother's right what if i'm living my life in sin or what if um what if i am going to go to hell because of this and i allowed that to to almost make me hate myself and I had, it took me 30 years and it took me to lose everything, guys. I've lost everything. I kid you not, I have less than what I have had ever in my life, except for the day that I was on that park bench at the age of 13 and I had nothing. But I feel so free and so happy because I learned how to stop making other people's opinions about how you living your life holds value in how you view yourself and how you feel about yourself. And people say, Michelle, you've been through a lot. How can you forgive all those that have done you wrong? I forgive my mother. And I'm gonna tell you something that I've heard so many times and I'm like, ah, that makes no sense. I didn't forgive her for her. I forgave her for me. I forgave her to free myself from the burden of carrying the weight of the decision she made for not accepting me. That was her issue and not mine. Her opinions of how I was living my life, even though she's my mother and I'm grateful for the blessing that she gave me, which is my life. Because, because of her giving me life and, 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 and holding me in her belly for the nine months that she did and bringing me into this world, I'm able to stand before you guys and go after my dreams. But had she had made a different decision, it might not be me who will be in front of this video. Who knows? You know, all I know is I'm grateful for that. And um, through that love of her giving birth to me, created me and created the prosperity that I have in my life. And... As much as I want my mother to understand me and to be accepting of me, I also have to be just as equally as accepting to my mother and her limitations and, and understand her. The same way I want to be understood, I have to understand my mother. And this is how I came to terms with everything and how I'm able to now live my life free from this burden. I want my mother to see that I'm not living my life in sin, that I am worthy of living and I have just as much as right to live and exist in this world as any heterosexual person in this world, right? But I also have to understand that my mother was raised in a different time. She was raised on a small island in Vieques. She had no education past the second grade because her family could not afford to send her to school. On top of that, we grew up very, very, very religious, very religious. And she was taught all her life that anything that it deviates from the heteronormative perspective is a sin. And that was engraved in her, that molded her, that, you know, you are a sum of your experiences to an extent. And I had to understand my mother's perspective just as much as I wanted her to understand mine. 
And the minute I realized that my mother is just a product of her existence and her upbringing, and she is not the sins of her mother and father who taught her, is the same way I'm not the sins of my mother and father. Crazy, right? It took me to understand that even if I don't agree with my mother's feelings about me, she may feel like in her head, she's fighting for my salvation, right? In a messed up way, even if you don't agree, she's fighting with something that she believes in. She's putting all of her energy into something that she feels profound about and that she feels like is important and she wants to save my soul, my, you know, my soul, my eternal soul. That's no longer my problem. I can no longer let that stop me from living. I can't allow other people's opinions of me stop me from living. Hey, I give you all the blessing to continue praying for me if you feel like that's what you need to do and if you feel like that's what your spirit compels you to do. I give you nothing but love. Guys, I know this sounds crazy, but people truly don't understand what it means to love. When you love, when you say, we need to have love all, Every, there needs to be equality everywhere. That means you also have to understand the opposing side that you may not agree with. And that doesn't mean that you have to agree with them. You can still not agree with somebody who may have an an opinion about how you're living your life that's contrary to how you feel. But that doesn't mean that you have to continue to put hate out into the universe. You don't have to continue to put hate out into the universe. We have to combat that hate. And what do you combat hate with? Love. Love. Understanding. The same way I want my mother to love and understand me is the same way I have to love and understand her. I have to love her past her limitations because she didn't know any better. And just because I don't agree with her decision doesn't mean that I have to disrespect her or hate her and carry that burden of hate and negativity all because of a decision that she's made in her life. That's her life and that's her decision. And I made my decision and I made my decision at the age of 13 and I've been apologizing for that decision ever since based on how other people feel about who I am as a person versus how I feel about myself. I cannot stress this enough. What others think about you are none of your business and is none of your concern. It should not prevent you from living your life the way you want to live it. Because every single day that you wake up, you're not living your life for them. They're living their life. You're living your life for, for you. And if they're so stressed about how you're living your life, then baby, you're doing something right because that, that means that you're, you have a presence about yourself so much so that it's, it's affecting the way people are living because they have to constantly think about you. Girl, you're powerful. You are powerful, okay? If people have an opinion about you, whether it's good, bad, or ugly, that means that you are powerful because you left a lasting an impression on that person that they couldn't get you out of their head. Stop looking at people who hate on you or who may not agree with you as something negative. Look at it as something positive. You've impact influence on that person. The minute you realize that, I swear you're free from all this. You're free from all this. I'm free from all the pain. I, I, I'm free. I'm free from all the pain of all the bad and, and, the, and the ugly situations in my life. And now I'm able to look back on those situations 
as learning experiences, as milestones in my life. And I look at the hurdles that I have made and I'm, I'm so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so, so blessed, guys. I cannot stress that enough. The best way to combat hate is to love even harder. Show them that no matter what, they cannot alter who you are. They cannot alter who you are. You know yourself with 100% certainty. Stop doubting yourself. Stop doubting yourself based on other people. I promise you. It's so much lovelier on the other side. I needed to learn that so that when I go into this camper... I'm going free from all the baggage that I've been carrying. And when I say baggage, it literally took me to have to downsize. You know how much stuff I've had to give up? A, a 60 inch TV, an Xbox, um, um, all these DVDs, all these things that I was holding on to, right? And all these clothes and all these things that, you know, we all have those shirts that we're like, oh, it has a bleach stain or it has this, but I'm going to wear it around the house. And, or, or when I get skinny, I'm going to put on these pants again. We all hold on to those things. It took me to have to give up everything, to lose it all, to really, really realize what matters in my life. And I'm so, so, so excited to continue to get to know myself and to continue to live freely from all that baggage, that emotional baggage that I was carrying. Because honestly, that camper is not that big and there's not enough room for all the baggage that I was carrying physically, mentally, and spiritually, spiritually to fit in that camper. And I welcome all of you guys, combat hate with love. When they hate you hard, you love them even harder. Pause. <laughs> I'm so grateful to be alive. I'm so grateful that I saw this leaf fall from that tree. When you start to count your blessings every single day, little things like this become so major that it's like no matter what bad thing that's going on in your life, you can say, hey, I showed up for myself today. I was present enough to watch this leaf fall from a tree. That's that's the that's the um, hold on, guys. That's the little nugget that I'm going to leave with you guys. I am so grateful that I was present enough for myself today to witness this leaf fall from the tree. That alone lets me know how truly blessed and grateful, grateful, grateful that I am to be alive. And I hope that I can inspire or motivate any of you guys that might be going through something hard because I've been there and I'm not out of the woods yet but you want to know something I've changed how I'm seeing my bad situations instead of seeing them as bad instead of putting all your energy into seeing something as negative see it as you just learning from life and I'd rather be learning lessons than not to not be here and to not be present. I love you guys for watching. I love all you beautiful souls. And I welcome you to continue to come along on this journey. I have so much stuff that I want to talk about. The camper and how I feel about it. And I cannot wait to continue to share every little thing that's on my mind. Because I know that you guys are Buckled up with me. And y'all coming along for the ride, honey. Y'all coming along for the ride. Safety's first. Bye.